Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I am here with another out of the park game in our 2023 Kansas City Royals season. I have the standings for the Central Division up on the screen. And as you can see, we are bad. We are the actual Royals. We are 9 and 26. And last in the Central Division. As a matter of fact, if you look at this Central Division, it is strikingly similar to the actual Central Division uh, relative to, you know, this many games into the season. The White Sox are just above us at 14 and 21 and under 500 as the White Sox are. The Detroit Tigers and Cleveland Guardians are both 16 and 18 under 500 as they are, I believe, in real life currently. Uh, the only thing that's a little off, the Twins are leading the division as they are in real life, but they have, they have a much better record than they really do in real life currently. Uh, relative to the number of games that they've played to this point. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it is, it's, uh, it's strikingly similar. So we are 9 and 26, very bad. Um, as I have pointed out in the previous, um, when I did like the third game of the season for us, I, there's a video out of the, uh, third game of the season for this uh, Kansas City playthrough. I am only the manager of the team. I am not the general manager, so I just play the games and then we uh, see how it how it goes from there. Hopefully the AI general manager can do a better job than um, the current general manager for the Kansas City Royals is doing. Um, and hopefully our players will develop um, better in the out of the park uh, platform than they are in real life for the Royals. Um, and so you can see we have uh, our next game is against the White Sox. It's going to be Dylan Cease pitching for them, and we are going to have a Jordan Lyles going to the mound. Jordan Lyles, who is one in four on the on the year with a nine fifty one earned run average. So, not very good. So, let's get on with the show here. So, you can see here is uh, the lineups. The uh, White Sox are going to line up as Tim Anderson at shortstop leading off. Lewis Robert in center field batting second. Batting third will be Andrew Vaughn. Batting in the cleanup spot will be Eloy Jimenez. Batting fifth will be Johan Moncada at third base. Then Gavin Sheets in right field. Andrew Benintendi in the seventh spot and the DH today for them. Elvis Andrus is going to be their second baseman. And they will finish up with Yasmani Grandal at catcher. And of course, Cease pitching. Cease on the year is 3 and 2 with a 228 earned run average and an 099 whip. We will be lining up as Bobby Witt Jr. at third base. Then Michael Massey at second, having a good year. He's batting 299 on the season. Uh, Vinny Pasquitano, Pasquitino will be the first baseman. Uh, the the uh, cleanup hitter is going to be um, Melendez. Then at the fifth spot, you're going to have uh, Fran Miel Reyes at DH. Kyle Isbell will be batting in the sixth spot and be the center fielder today. Hunter Dozier will be at right field. He's hitting 295 on the season. Jackie Bradley Jr. will be the left fielder for us today, hitting 267 and picking up the rear shortstop Matt Duffy, hitting a scant 167. And as I said, Jordan Lyles on the mound with a 1 and 4 record on the year and a 951 earned run average and a 194 whip. So it doesn't really bode very well for us in this matchup, but we will see if we can make it work. Um, and so we will go to the ballpark, and we are home, and um, we'll pitch to the first batter with Mr. Lyles. We'll take a little quick uh, tour around Kauffman Stadium before the first pitch. 
and then Lyles will deal and uh, that looks like a ground out to third base as it is and the next batter is Lewis Robert that was Tim Anderson so Lewis Robert is now up the uh, White Sox not having a good season either as I mentioned just I mean we're terrible but they're not even having a good season so uh, probably, though, they are running their best pitcher out there on this particular day against us. Andrew Vaughn is up after a double, and he strikes out. So, Lyles whiffs him. And that brings up Eloy. Eloy Jimenez is going to hit a single right in front of the, the uh, left fielder and knock in a run. So, the White Sox are ahead one nothing with Moncada up. And he's going to strike out. So we get out of the inning, but unfortunately, Lyles does give up a run before he exits for the first inning. And Bobby Witt Jr. will be the leadoff hitter here against Cease. Dylan Cease and Desist will make an offering and strike out Witt. That brings up Michael Massey, the second baseman. And the second baseman, he's hitting 290 on the year, 293, I think it was, but he's out. And Vinny Pasquatino, the first baseman, is up. The lefty hitter is going to tie the game. It is 1 1 on a Pasquatini gone. Goodbye, home run ball. So that's nice. Uh, tied the game up, and now uh, MJ Melendez is the batter. You can see the smoke from the cannons. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that is how it ends for us. So we go to the top of the second. And uh, Sheets is the batter, Jordan Lyles. He's got a new lease on life here as we tied it up for him in the first. Sheets grounds out, so he's gone. That brings up Benintendi, probably their best hitter, definitely in real life, um, and maybe even in this game, and he's out. So that was a, a great play by the third baseman, and that brings up Andrus, Elvis Andrus. And Elvis Andrus looks like he's flying out to center. So, yeah, it's nice to play a team that's not very good and isn't going to take us out behind the woodshed. So we got Fran Mil Reyes is the batter, and uh, that's going to be a fly out to center. And uh, Lewis Robert plays it really well, and uh, Kyle Isbell is the batter. Kyle Isbell, the lefty batter. The lefties are getting some good wood on the ball against Cease. And there is, no, nonetheless, there is two outs, and Hunter Dozier is up. And Hunter Dozier is going to foul out to the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. And now the White Sox come up with Grandall, the batter. And that is going to be a single for Grandall. Now, I don't think we have to worry about Grandall stealing, so I'm not going to pay any attention to him at first. We're going to just deal to Anderson, and we struck him out. That brings up Lewis Robert with one down and Grandall aboard. And that's going to be a, he's going shopping at the gap. And that's going to be a double or more. It'll be a double and it scores the run. Or does it? No, it doesn't score the run. That's odd. I guess, yeah, I guess it was. No, wait, it does. It does. So they did score. Oh, it was a triple. That's what happened. So obviously the run would score on that. And another run is about to score for them. And they uh, they score two here. Lyles doing his usual Lyles thing. And Eloy Jimenez is up. And he's going to hit it right up the middle. Yeah, uh, <coughs> Lyles, very bad in this game. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how is that different than Lyles in real life? Because he is bad in real life, too. But but he isn't 951 earned run average bad. <clears throat> but he does get out of that inning and uh, no further damage, so it's 3-1. to one. And we will 
send Jackie Bradley Jr. up, and Jackie Bradley Jr. is going to fly out to right. Benintendi makes that play. Or no, wait, Benintendi's the DH today, I think. So here's Matt Duffy, and Matt Duffy is out on a great play. Great play out there, and uh, so Bobby Witt is the batter, and he's out. So we go to the top of the fourth. Lyles out there. Lyles, man, you got to love him. He sends that, oh my God, a base hit drops right in front of um, Isbell. Crazy. Of course, nobody's going to accuse Isbell of being a gold glove center fielder, and then they're shopping at the gap again. So Lyles is just getting his ass handed to him. It's basically, he's a batting practice pitcher. He has been all year. I am wondering when the GM is going to say, you know what, the Lyles experiment is over. In real life, they haven't done that yet. But um, we'll see if they try to do that in Out of the Park at any point this season. Now, now to be honest, in really... No situation should they do that. They should let their young talent, our young talent, develop in the minors. So, I would agree with not doing that. And we are still only down 3-1. to one, And we have Massey batting against Cease. And he is going to hit a dribbler out to shortstop and be thrown out at first. One down quickly, and Pasquatino, who homered his last time up. And he is going to pop out to second. And that brings up MJ Melendez. And Melendez got some good wood on it, but another great play by the uh, White Sox right fielder. And... Um, Lyles drags his carcass back out to the mound, down 3-1, to one, although he is holding us in this game, and there's a strikeout to the first batter, and that brings up Vaughn, and Vaughn is kind of a vanilla hitter, I'm a White Sox fan, if you didn't know, and I do have White Sox seasons for Out of the Park on my site, um, but I decided to go with Kansas City for a number of reasons, which I explained in the first game video. Uh, but, you know, it's I was getting sick of the White Sox, White Sox, White Sox. Plus, uh, you know, I knew that if this game was anywhere close to reality, and there's going to be another double, yet another double. The White Sox have to be leading the league in doubles after playing us. And uh, it is to 5-1 now, with a runner at second, and Gavin Sheets is the batter. But anyway, I figured, you know, I'm getting sick of the White Sox. Another double and another run's going to score. And I um, wanted to take the uh, Royals and see how the Royals can um, progress from this point on. It's a different team, a different look, a team that I can learn more about. And Lyles, of course, walks another guy. <laughs> he, uh, it's 6-1. to one. Lyles just loving it. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's a fly out to left. So there is two down now. And um, Grandall is up and he strikes out. So Lyles occasionally strikes a guy out between allowing four runs to score. And uh, we go to the bottom of the fifth. We are down by five runs. And this will be Reyes, I believe, is up. And he gets a base hit up the middle. So we got Reyes aboard. Of course, this team is not the fastest, fleetest of foot. We've got Kyle Isbell up. He is a bad hitter, and he strikes out, and he shows it right there. Uh, Hunter Dozier, the right fielder. Hunter Dozier is going doubling at the gap. Going shopping at the gap. I don't know if you double at the gap or not, but uh, anyway, that does knock in a run for us, and it's 6-2. to two. So, man at second, one down, and Jackie Bradley up. And that's going to be a pass ball. So now Jackie Bradley just has to do anything he can. I'm going to actually bunt right here. Try to get that run home. Let's see if we can do it. 
nope, I guess he can't. So uh, we're going to just swing away. And then he strikes out. And that's, I mean, that's Jackie Bradley Jr. for you. So we've got Matt Duffy up at the plate. And he's going to get a base hit and knock in our third run. So it's 6-3. We're in this game at least. I'm hoping to knock Cease out because I know the White Sox. As I mentioned, I'm a White Sox fan, so I know they don't have the greatest bullpen around. If we can get into the White Sox bullpen, I think we have a shot here because it's only 6-3. And um, and, uh, we're going to fly out. So, yeah, I was hoping for a base hit there. It didn't happen. Uh, Lyles is going out for the 6th. I will send him out there for the 6th. We'll see what happens. I mean, the White Sox, are you know, they have a finite number of runs they're going to score. They're not the greatest team around. Yeah, but they do have a man at first, and we will see what happens here. There's a two-strike count, and there's the strikeout. Um, let's hope it doesn't come with the four runs scored. Um, oh, they try to steal, and they will make it. So, we uh, are, Jordan's, Jordan Lyles is dealing to Vaughn, and he walks him. Next guy up, that should be a double play, and it is. And I think, is it a double play? Yeah, it is. So, we got out of that inning, I am going to warm somebody up, because we're in this game. I'm going to get a Mir Garrett up. No, we're nah, I grabbed Hernandez. So let's go back to let's return to the game. There we go. Get Amir Garrett, warm him up, and go back to the game action and hope we can score some runs. Vinny Pasquatino up. Like I mentioned, he has already homered this game. And he is going to pop out to Tim Anderson. And that brings up MJ Melendez. And MJ Melendez is going to, looks like, fly out to center. Yes. And here we go with Fran Mil Reyes. And he's going to strike out. Now, let me see. No, I'm not even going to see because he is r really getting tired. And if there's anything worse than Jordan Lyles, it's a tired Jordan Lyles. So we will send Amir Garrett out there to pitch, trying to uh, keep us only three runs behind here in the seventh inning. And there is a strikeout. First batter is done. And let's see. This is lefty on lefty, and he gets a base hit. So there is a runner aboard for the White Sox, and that sheets with Benintendi up. And Benintendi is going to fly out to center. So there's two down pretty quickly here, and Elvis Andrus the batter. And Elvis Andrus is going to hit a get a base hit to center. Runners are now at the corner. This is a key batter right here, um, Grandall. we got to try to get him out and no. That is a pass ball, but there's still the run didn't score. So, and then we'll see what what this gives us. It's a fly ball, so we're still in the game again. Amir Garrett will be sent back out there by me. Um, you can see he is. Um, oh wait a minute. Oh, or Kyle Isbell is the batter, right? Um, I am going to send Amir Garrett back out though, um, and he strikes out. So we still got to try to get the three runs. Hunter Dozier is up. I mean, it's nice that we're within three, but we got to get those three back. And Bradley Jr., my, Jackie Bradley Jr. is up. And he is going to ground out to Vaughn. So, yeah, here's Garrett. He's still out there. He's still got some a little bit of gas in the tank, enough maybe to get through this inning. Especially if we don't make any errors or he doesn't give up a lot of hits. And uh, the next batter is Lewis Robert. And Lewis Robert is going to get a base hit to left. So now it's questionable. 
whether Garrett's going to be able to hold us here. Vaughn is the batter, and Vaughn is just going to go deep and just really put us probably out of contention for this winning this game. Not out of contention in the American League race. We're already out of contention in that. And there is a nice play by the center fielder, Isbell. So there's two down. Yeah, I just want to get Garrett through this inning without having to burn up another arm. And so he does get through the inning, but he gave up a two-run home run, and it is now 8-3. to three. I am going to get somebody up in the pen, another person. We're going to get Josh Taylor up. And we'll go back to game action. Got Matt Duffy up the batter. And Matt Duffy might have a base hit. No, it's a fly out to center. Lewis Robert, good center fielder, and Bobby Witt Jr. is the batter, and he is going to pop out to the second baseman, Andrus. And that brings up Michael Massey. Michael Massey, one of our better hitters, and he does walk. So he's aboard. There's two down, though, and Pasquatino is the batter, and Pasquatino is going to fly out. So we're going to the top of the ninth inning here. I am going to bring in Taylor for Garrett and uh, see if he can get us through the ninth. Although really, we're five runs down, so we're in we're in a bad way. That's going to be a fly out to left though. One down quickly, and uh, Benintendi is the batter. And he strikes out. And that brings up Elvis Andrus. And Elvis Andrus is going to get a base hit. It was a little, had that, that had some hair on it and got past the third baseman. And so they have a runner at first with two down. And uh, that looks like it'll be a fly out to center. And here we go to the bottom of the ninth. We got to have five runs against the White Sox with MJ Melendez being the leadoff hitter. And MJ is going to get us one of those runs with a home run. So that's nice. And Dylan Cease is still out there, so we were not successful in getting Cease out of the game. At least not yet. But Reyes is up. He flies out, though. There's one down. And Isbell is the batter having a terrible year for us, and he continues to have a terrible year. And Hunter Dozier is the batter. And Hunter Dozier is going to get a base hit. So we got a runner aboard. The score is 8-4. Uh, to four. We need four runs. I don't know quite how we're going to get that, but you, you never know. And Jackie Bradley Jr. is the batter. I mean, we need to just string the hits together, and that is going to be a fly out to right. And so that is the game. Everybody's flooding onto the field. The White Sox are happy. They won 8-4. to four. We'll take a look at the box scores here. Here's the batting as it was. Uh, only six hits for us, but 16 hits for the White Sox. And if you look at Lyles, our main man, he is now 1-5. He went six innings, allowed 11 hits and six earned runs. He has a 942 earned run average. And uh, so that's where we stand. We're going to leave the game, and we're going to finish today. And as you can see, we're now 9-27. and And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.